Hi, it's Sharon, and right now I'm doing the Top 5 Wednesday tag. Thanks to Kristen for letting me know about it. So this Wednesday it's Top 5 Friendships. And right away, instantly, my first favorite friendship was, or is, Christy Miller and Katie Weldon from the Christy Miller series by Robin Jones Gunn. I read those books incessantly when I was growing up and it was really cool to see the difference between Katie and Christy. Katie was lively and extroverted and outgoing where Christy was sometimes too much of a introvert or a coward and they balanced each other out nicely especially with Katie and all her different antics all the way from high school until we'll read the books to find out what they got to. They were great friends and I liked that. My second favorite friendship was Vicky and Ryan and also Vicky and Charlie from the Left Behind Kids series. Vicky was one of those who was a rebellious sort when she wasn't a Christian. And so it was cool to see when she became a believer how she still had a edgy personality and such but she loved these younger boys who also became believers and she mentored them and treated them like nice little brothers but it was sweet you know especially for someone like her and so i liked those after those first two i was a little bit stumped <clears throat> after those first two i was a little bit stumped but then i thought of narnia and so my third favorite friendship is Shasta and Aravis from The Horse and His Boy. I like those two because they hated each other from the beginning. They were completely opposite and they competed and they dissed each other. And at the end, C.S. Lewis, who wrote the book, said that they got married so that they could continue to fight better. And that was cool. Seeing them grow from total enemies to allies and supports for one another was something I thoroughly enjoyed. So carrying on with the Narnia thing, because going with the analogy of Aslan being God, Lucy's oftentimes the Christian I want to be, with how she trusts Aslan and she relies on him for help. But at the same time, he's not a tame lion, like Mr. Beaver says at some point. And he shows that with Lucy and she goes to him and gets to know him that way. And so I remember that friendship and I like that friendship. And because I like Narnia that much, my fifth favorite friendship is Paddleglum and Eustace and Jill from The Silver Chair. Because Paddleglum, he's a complete doldrum and wet blanket in the beginning of the story. And Jill and Eustace, you know, are not completely happy to have them with him for their mission. But by the end of it, they can't imagine themselves without him and even he learns and grows the, into seeing that he's not quite as much a coward as he thought himself and it was fun to see all of their characters growing and learning and coming together bonus friendship david and jonathan from the bible because they loved each other so much david was the one that god wanted to be king and jonathan was directly in line to be king but he stepped aside willingly and help David to stay alive so he could be king. And the Bible records how David said that Jonathan's love was sweeter and better than that of a woman's. It's just such a cool way of describing just how much they loved each other. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Till then, cheers.